the furniture that we pay there. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, um, so can I ask you a couple of questions about the film? Okay. Because in the past few years, you've got a lot of recognition for doing Night and Fog, which is a very intense acting performance for yes, you. Yes, You also did Echoes of the Rainbow, which is showing later today, which won the best actor. Yes. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is it like to do a movie like this, then? Is, that, is it still satisfying at all, or is it a little boring for you? No, or? Uh, actually, actually, this is the movie that uh, is not uh, set high by itself, because uh, the film is no touching. Actually, I always say that to the Hong Kong uh, some director, the Hong Kong some producer, don't make some movies that, which is like C CG will be high quality. I mean, from the CG actually, behind the whole of like where the train is. When you're watching the Ahanda, so the future is beautiful, it's beautiful. I mean, for the Hong Kong people, for the Hong Kong some uh, producers, but we need to be some more like localized movies. We use something, uh, some kind of human touch to try to make the audience in uh, all different kinds of uh, languages, all different, different kinds of uh, skill, and then let them feel it the touching of the film. I think that is more important than the, uh, of course, like Storm Warriors. Of course, this is the, the first uh, experience for the Hong Kong uh, director to make uh, this kind of big uh, films. But I mean, for myself, actually, I'm not satisfied about this movie because uh, there's no human touch. So, when you're performing in a big movie like yeah. this, do you have to worry about your character so much? And that kind of, do you worry so much about your, your look and your. No, no, no. Actually, I'm not. A, I'm, a, I'm a guy to. Uh, I can, uh, um, anything for me, if I act as a poor guy, then I can, whatever, uh, short hand and everything, I can feel everything to fit in. I'm not a guy to be like, you need to be very handsome, you know, sometimes I'm like, good to be in every single movie. I'm a guy that uh, can fit everything into the movies. That's why, uh, open more things, this is, we work very hard because the weather is really, really hot. We make it in Thailand. In Thailand. Like, yeah, in Thailand, uh, it's in the studio, you know, which is like 40 degrees or 45 degrees, it, it is still, there's no air con, and then my uh, helmet, my, my costumes, my uniform, is with the seven layers, which all in black color, and without uh, any single, uh, I mean, uh, holes for me to breathe. <laughs> so, so I, I need to change my uh, 10 kilometers and 10 kilometers every day. Every day, every single shot after finished, and then I need to go because it's all wet. <laughs> so this is it's horrible. But I mean, uh, working with the, uh, the director outside, they're so nice. One thing they're so nice, they don't they hate my shooting. The Johnny Doe movies, Johnny Doe, Johnny Doe movies, you see the Johnny Doe movies. <laughs> Johnny Doe movies because Johnny don't want to sleep at night. That's why it's all joint room movies to shoot in the, in the dark area. But Oxham, they, they, want, they want to go out to have a drink. And that's, that's why they don't have a nice shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, was it a difficult shoot then? I mean, it was very difficult physically? Uh, to, for physically, it's quite difficult because uh, when you're wearing the, the jewelry pump, which is very heavy, and then the uh, kind of uh, hold for you to breathe. So, uh, especially though, a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. It's quite, quite tough. You said earlier today that you uh, watch your own movie. You always watch your yes. films. Uh, I know this was all CG. So yeah. when you finally saw it, were you surprised or did you know what to expect? Uh, actually, I, I quite surprised because uh, it is the first time for the Hong Kong the director to make a, a CG the movies like this. And then actually it's, um, it's a good experience for them. Uh, especially on set, when you have a fight, uh, fights like this, and then you have to make like seven different kind of angles. Not like a Jackie Chan, or not like a Sam Hong. They are real fights. But for this kind of movie, we have to fight. We, we spend a lot of time on the different uh, kind of camera. One fight, actually, we need to be like five or seven different kind of angles to put the camera in the seven uh, different angles to shoot for one fight. So that, that means uh, Actually, we need more time to shoot like this kind of movies. We're running a little late today, but we'll take one question from the audience. So I hope it's a really good one. Uh, and we're not first. Yes. Oh, excuse me, I have a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. 
Run. Run. <laughs> Do you know Marshall Bart? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yes. I have a question. Um, in the movie, how did how did your character really how did your character really really feel if the if if he really had conquered conquered on the shadows? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I call it the world, I will make like a hamburger or a to every different country so every people have good food. Because, because food, like whatever Chinese we have, like rice, American hamburger, I want to do one thing, that one kind of food that can satisfy all around the world, so make everybody happy. <laughs> I hate to leave it out, but I think it's a good place to start. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you've got a ticket to bodyguards and assassins in development hell, I think the ushers are going to come around and tear them where you are.